Teacher on Long Island pleading today not guilty to charges of giving a COVID vaccine shot to a teenager without his parents' consent. A teacher, a friend of the te teacher's son, and here's video posted on social media of what she's accused of doing. The attorney for the teacher insists she was only trying to do something good. Here's Iowa News reporter Stacy Sager. Laura Parker Russo left court today without bail and as quickly as possible. The 54-year-old biology teacher from Herrick's High School now reassigned at home and facing a Class E felony count for this. There you go, at-home vaccine. An at-home COVID vaccine back on New Year's Eve that Russo is seen in this video administering to a 17-year-old boy, a friend of her son. Russo, not a licensed medical professional, and prosecutors say she did all of this inside her home here in Seacliff, telling the boy it was the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. I don't know what her motivation was, obviously. Um, as you're aware, there was a video made of it. It was almost treated as if they were doing something funny, and it's not funny when you're breaking the law and injecting children. But Russo's defense attorney describing it very differently. And she's constantly giving uh, medicine. Telling reporters she has family members who are diabetic. There was no ill-intended motive. She wasn't making money. She wasn't trying to hurt anybody. So figure it out yourself. She was trying to do good. But still, what happened can't be undone. And the shock in this small community reverberates. I said, who would do that, you know? It just seemed weird to me. Her neighbors here in Seacliff describing a good person who made a poor choice. Russo, a teacher for the past 35 years with six kids of her own, appearing lighthearted at times in the video. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. I hope. What's more, the J&J &J vaccine is only meant for ages 18 and up. Investigators still trying to figure out if it was the COVID vaccine and who gave it to Russo. She's due back in court on January 25th.